Yeah, well, the Creighton student says when she first saw the t-shirt, she couldn't sit idle. Instead, she talked with her friends and started an online rape awareness campaign. With a video recording cell phone in nearly every pocket in America, nothing is private. And it's great that the information gets out there and it gets out fast. That constant connection can create a negative reputation for a business or organization. From a racist college hazing at the University of Oklahoma. To a local Creighton fan bar selling a shirt promoting sexual violence. Aaron Avantet attended a Creighton basketball game Saturday night and saw a fellow student wearing this shirt. It says, we are not responsible for lost or stolen virginity, and it was sold at the J Bar. Seeing that there in that context, especially in the student section, was very, very shocking. I was very taken aback by it. She posted the photo, and students at OU posted the racist hazing video to social media. Their posts are starting conversations. By expanding it to Twitter and things like that, we felt like more people could see it. We could actually involve people that maybe we didn't know but knew were invested in the cause. She has taken a message she found offensive and turned it into a cause that gained viral traction virtually overnight. UNO professor Adam Tima says that's the power of the Internet, and everyone needs to be wary of how we act because all it takes is a stranger and a cell phone to share it with the world. We do have to be a little more cautious. Um, this goes to just what I kind of tell my students all the time. We can never delete our digital footprint. You think delete is deleted things. All delete has done is taken out of your easy view. And the bar owner did apologize on Twitter, but we still have not been able to contact him. Now, the bar is closed today. Reporting live, Rebecca Ray, KMTV, Action 3 News.